Hey, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been a little MIA and not as consistent as I would like to be, but I'm back with some very interesting news. If you can tell by the title, yes, it's true. Your girl is launching her own natural hair care brand and I'm so excited, I'm so nervous. I need to put the camera on something because I'm shaking. So yeah, I'm launching my own natural hair care brand and I don't know, I'm just so nervous. I wanna vlog this process mainly for me to look back on and also to maybe inspire, I don't know, like just show you guys know the process along the way because I'm still figuring things out I'm still learning um, I've definitely already made some mistakes the name of my brand is called sis organics um, SYS and it's actually an acronym that stands for save your strands all of the stuff that I am putting into my brand are things that I've actually implemented into my daily hair care routine. I can't wait to show you guys. Yesterday, I actually got my bottles and my jars. My bottles are for my hair growth oil. My jars are for my leave-in, conditioner, moisturizer, lotion, all in one. And I'm also doing shampoo bars. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already heard the news because I've already been promoting my brand. I've already did a demo to my shampoo bar. And I love them. They're so moisturizing. Uh, you guys are gonna love them. So I'm just gonna let you guys um, watch me um, open my packaging and see some behind the scenes of me filling my bottles and putting my labels on. Um, even before I ever thought about starting my own hair care line, I was obsessed with watching packaging videos. I was obsessed with watching behind the scenes, um, pre-launch videos. I don't know, I just it's just something. It's just satisfying for me to watch it. So for those people out there, I got you. Okay, I just spent so much time unpacking all of these bottles and disinfecting them and organizing them. This is how my label looks for my bottle. Can you guys see? My bottle is like a um, green amber glass. Hope the color is big enough. It's like a green amber glass with an olive green knob and a black squeezy dropper part. Oh my God. Um, it's a pretty big bottle, I would say. So, yeah, and there's the dropper. This is a smaller size. I was just debating on which size I was gonna do, but I just knew if I was to buy hair oil, I would want it to be a lot of oil in it, not just a little tiny squirt. This ain't gonna last nobody. Also in the frost glass, but I figured people will wanna see their oil. So although this is very cute, I might use it for something else. Let me show you my soaps before we get to filling these bottles. These are my shampoo bars. All natural. Also, if you want to see a demo of me using the shampoo bars, it is on my Instagram. I'll have my Instagram. I have my business Instagram and my personal Instagram linked below in case you are not following me. Join the club. These are the little baggies that I got for my soap. And we're going to see if my soaps are going to fit in here. I forgot how many I ordered. Um, they're looking tiny. I didn't want to just saran wrap them. Uh-uh, my soaps are not gonna fit in here. Ooh, trial and error. Yeah, they too big. I might have to either saran wrap them or put them in parchment paper with a sticker. That's why I said I made a lot of mistakes. But, um, nonetheless, we're gonna push through. Should I label them before I put the oil in or should I put the oil in and then label them? So here are my labels. I got them from Print Palace. I got 3,000. They came like this. Individual squares that I would just peel off and stick onto my bottle like this. I also ordered thank you cards that should be here this weekend. I also ordered bubble mailers, box 
boxes, crinkle paper, fragile stickers, um, bubble wrap, you name it. We're gonna start mixing our oils. The glass are already sanitized, the table's already sanitized. All right, I'm gonna start by putting my gloves on. Friday night, I had just gotten off work, just got home. Um, I was in traffic before I got home. Anyways, y'all don't care about that. I got most majority of the bottles filled and I'll show you guys what I'm working with. And then today we're just gonna be labeling. I have a few things coming into the mail today. I have a label cutter. Well, I have a paper cutter um, that's gonna get the lines cut equally because I did not do the right um, measurements for my labels to fit onto my cosmetic jars. My jars for my leave-in. If I've learned two things during this whole process is I suck at math way worse than I thought I did and putting on labels is freaking hard. It's not as easy as it looks. And all of this stuff is very time consuming. But gonna do it because lunch day is next weekend next Sunday to be exact and I need to be ready because I'm trying to ship orders out well God willing I have orders I'm trying to ship orders out next day I'm trying to package that day so I need all of that stuff to be ready let me show you guys the bottles here are all the bottles that I filled up last night so we're just gonna label them today it's not that I don't want you here It's something about the way you stay tonight I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just beach fuels in the every day All I wanna hear is in the visions that we play Staring next to you Chase beach fuels in the day. All I wanna hear is an 